comes the other well, not flying through. It's um, just coming for a for a block. So quite close, but blue's still open on the hoop, so and Sonya's a pretty accomplished AC player, so even if they are cuddling, I don't think she's got too many problems with her with a take off there if, if they are, but it's hard to tell on the screen, but but live I, I, I don't think they don't think they're touching. She's taking a lot of time lining everything up though, which has been a feature of a day. They're certainly not worried about the time, they're enjoying the sunshine today. Don't think she's had any need for uh, her Kiwi hottie today. Uh, the girls all having uh, hot water bottles the last few days. It's, uh, We actually get to see all the countries in the in their national uniforms for once. It's been a lot of uh, cold weather gear up until now. So maybe they are touching. She's asking for a referee to come out and make a call. We'll have a look. Watch the shot. See Felix and uh, Philip Drew there in the bottom of the screen. Having a bit of a look. So the captain and manager have been arm in arm a lot of this week. So it's a great future of New Zealand croquet there. If only we had uh, audio on the boys and find out what their plan is for the playoff. <laughs> Need to get a lip reader up here. So, so the referee marking the balls. I'm not sure if it's because they're touching. I think it's just, just don't be careful. Just with the follow through, doesn't want to catch a bit of the yellow. Sonia down there in, in child's pose. A little bit of yoga while we wait. Okay, it looks pretty straightforward from up here. Um, but oh, she's... Uh, I should catch a little bit of the yellow. It's just drifted the, the blue wide. So uh, it's blocked red shot, but red can certainly uh, deal with black and block black quite easily. So uh, Phyllis there just jumping in our vision. So Phyllis Young blocking the, the camera shot on the hoop. So she's been keenly supporting all week. <laughs> So Judy's probably just deciding whether she um, stops the blue away to keep two on one, or whether she blocks black shot through on yellow, which is which would be the the better shot because you want to score this hoop. So it looks like what she's doing, she's just found the spot for black on yellow, just pushed it into position. And Sonia's now coming in, just double checking that yellow does have a hoop shot. Making her assessment. If she doesn't have anything on the yellow, she might try and just push the blue in the way and force Judy over the top. So uh, George and Dallas in the background. Sitting on the on the bench, enjoying a bit of sun. They're um, having a chat. Maybe that's a uh, a pairing for the playoff this afternoon. Maybe they're 
getting themselves ready just in case. Time will tell. And here's the black shot now. She's caught the red, so she's trying to get red onto yellow on the way through. But she's uh, and Lester's come up to join the commentary team. He's uh, he must have lied earlier about driving a snake home. He's, uh, <laughs> so Judy with yellow through the hoop here to get six four and get in a really strong position to take this to a tiebreak game and uh, hopefully Australia to a playoff this afternoon. Just a little bit of the left leg there, Judy. So just sort of a bit of movement there on the shot. Uh, just trying to will it through rather than stroke it through. Tournament referee is obviously happy for a, or confident of a, a playoff. He's out there resetting all the hoops uh, on all the courts being used this afternoon. So Jim Clement's out there trying to make everything as tough as possible. He's uh, smiling along. So Sonia with a nice stun shot there. I mean, it's pretty easy with what happened to Yellow. So, but uh, she's kept great control of the hoop and uh, saw the red ball flying through there. Judy had to take the long range shot because uh, Blue is in prime position to score the hoop. And uh, Yellow quite a way away on the boundary. So, Haven't heard any claps for a while. It's been a bit quiet both ways as the players are just paddling balls away a little bit. But we might hear some claps again soon because the blue is in prime position for uh, for Sonia to tie up this game. And uh, we're now currently into four and a half hours. That seems to be the what's been happening for Sonia's games all week. Four and a half hour matches. But she might crack six today if uh, Judy gets this game. So the Australian manager is still stalking up and down on any spare court. She's pointing at people, directing people. Just trying to, trying to get the return gig next time. Quick chat to the high performance manager for Australia, Martin Clark. interesting that the Kiwis are all, after being all together on the sidelines earlier, they're all off in different shelters in lots of different places around the around the club, so looks like they're preparing themselves for the playoff there. They're very much uh, all business at the moment. Of course, they're secretly hoping that Sonia seals it now and we don't have to do that, but they're uh, definitely prepared for all situations. Dead air there, so obviously Sonia uh, made the last hoop with the blue and uh, scores are now 5 all uh, on board. 
And as been happening this match, all the balls are pretty much just coming in nice and close and waiting for the first person to get a good stun shot and steal the hoop. And uh, Judy just pushing the black ball away with yellow there to either take on the hoop or uh, take on the blue. Sonia's probably just going to come back through. She's run a little bit long there, so nice and easy for Judy here to get a stun shot. She's probably not going to be out of hold position on the hoop running side, but um, so black is very close to the yellow, so blue makes good position, and there's a lot of pressure on red now to uh, deal with it or run the hoop itself. So, Sonia doesn't have to do anything too tricky here. Um, she can just put a ball back in front, and that puts all the pressure back on Judy again. And I'm sure they're all feeling it at the moment with everyone, all eyes watching. They know that this is an important match, whether they know the reason why or not, whether it's uh, knowing it for a win or knowing it for a draw. Um, it's pretty obvious on everyone's faces and their reactions that this means something. So blue through, no, red through on blue, all hoop. <coughs> and she's got the blue. Bit of a scatter, so advantage is still with Sonia. Um, yeah, so the red ball's gone all the way down to the south boundary there. So it's going to be quite tough for Judy to get back in. Although Sonia doing a nice little stun shot here does allow Yellow to get back on the hoop scoring side. So Judy will have a, a scoop, a hoop scoring ball first. And you can hear the uh, the hammering of uh, Jim in the background. So he's redoing the hoops, uh, setting him tight. They are setting him to the biggest ball and uh, trying to make it as difficult as possible for the final. And uh, you can probably tell from the hammering that the ground has actually hardened up. This little bit of sunshine this morning has burnt off a lot of the the moisture that's been there. And we're almost going to get back to Canley style hoops where it will be hard and fast. So, so Jim resetting it because uh, he can't actually get a ball through the hoop. So now taking the hoop out, he's made it too tough. So now we want to watch for uh, on court two later, if we do get to a playoff, hoop five on court two is pretty much shut. Okay, so Judy's kind of taking a long position. This will allow Blue to get in between in closer position and then Blue to defend. So, which, uh, which she does, and now all red really can do from long way downtown is to try and get up next to that blue ball somewhere. So, yeah, so all the all the managers are walking around talking to players, so they're obviously starting to let players know about what might happen this afternoon. Find out how comfy people are with different things. I think the Australian order's been set for since the start. Don't think there's been any changes to that. Uh, the final test match, we were able to change singles order you know, based on merit if we thought there was any change in the original lineups. But both teams pretty much had it right from the start, so there was no changes to the order of merit, and uh, play continued. And 
Sonia didn't attack the yellow in that last shot. She's uh, just put another one in, and and why not? It's um, yeah. the ball in front has proven to be particularly good, um, or it's won the hoops for them. Anything a little bit more than three or four yards has basically been a turnover. Um, Uh, just a quick turn off the mic so the, the guys can crack into their Anzac biscuits. So it's, uh, it's pretty good, the Anzac test. There's been Anzac biscuits and Lamington flying around everywhere. No one's mentioned Pavlo yet. Though Lester, what do you, what do you think? Lester's not on the mic, but he's, he's just here soaking it all up. Well, no one's mentioned Pavlovas yet. What, what's your opinion on that as a former Kiwi? Oh, he's never liked him. Okay, so we won't worry about the who made Pavlova first argument. What about Russell Crowe? What's your opinion on Russell Crowe? Australian. Oh, he's Australian, okay. What about Mel, Mel Gibson? He's American. He's American, okay. So, obviously Sonia's uh, taking the lead now with uh, those balls, getting balls in nice and tight, putting the pressure on the Roka, and uh, if we're not nailing the Roka's dead centre, it uh, seems to be the strategy that's been working. So, yellow now coming down, so Judy's got a lot of work to do now to keep Australia's hopes alive. It's... Uh, Got to win two hoops in a row now. Two hoops in a row and we're into the playoff. Or into the tiebreak game before the playoff. And Sonia, is she just going to put another ball in front again on the block line or is she going to chase the red? No, she just puts another ball in. And uh, this has pretty much been the order of the day. Just get balls in close and wait for a a small execution error. And uh, Judy now. Really, we'd like to see her finish positively and take on the hoop here. But she might just uh, go the black if she's feeling a bit nervy. But the hoop shot here is a is a really good statement. She's gone the hoop. She's run the hoop. That's great. Great work there by Judy. She's had enough of the little tappy tappy around. It's time to take on the hoops and finish with a sprint. So that does give Sonia first advantage up at hoop 13. But um, no, that's fantastic for Judy to take that hoop on with confidence because there's been a few you know, little hoops that haven't been stroked through properly from both sides. And uh, yeah, that was a clutch hoop, do or die. So Sonia's ball looks... Excellent, uh, and you can see there by the Kiwis in the background, Dun uh, George on the side there, very excited by his prospects. He's uh, having a giggle at someone. Um, so Black in prime position, so New Zealand are starting to breathe a bit of a sigh of relief here. Uh, they think they've got it. And uh, Judy just narrowly touches it. Is it enough to... What do you think now, Lester? Five yards, four yards? Five yards, official, official call. <coughs> okay, so blue just uh, gets in the way. Actually, blue's probably on the line of black uh, from here, so black is now just a defending ball. And uh, so we won't see a hoop shot from black. So that's a small win there. If we can get blue up. Blue looks like it's going a little bit soft. It's going to be close. She just comes out to the side. And uh, well, it really picked up speed halfway through the court. That was, um, didn't look like she touched it at all. And 
can't quite see it, but yellow is on the back boundary. So Sonia's just hovering around the yellow, just seeing what sort of shot yellow's got, uh, making sure she gets the wire. She's deciding whether she wires yellow on blue or whether she wires yellow on the hoop. Um, safe money would be wiring yellow on blue, I would have thought, the way the game's been going for both of them. So she's just double checking. Does she deny the roke or does she deny the, deny the shot on goal? She's hanging around the hoop a bit though. And now she's looking for a different wide spot. So it looks like she's going to just paddle the blue a little bit more forward and hide it behind the red. So yellow can't hit blue, being a scoring ball, ideally, if it's tucked in hiding behind the red. So she's uh, just improving her shot and trying to make sure there's no little splatters. Well... Body language suggests that she didn't cut that in the middle how she wanted, and it probably is still open. And not getting it exactly in the centre where she wanted means black is definitely not a runner either, it's squirted out to the side. So, one good roquet here from Judy, yellow on blue, and uh, the hoop continues. So, Judy's just lining up. She's probably about two metres out of the corner. So it is a fairly straight shot, so technically it is a hoop running running shot, but I don't think she'll have ice for the hoop. It'll just be blue. And I don't think blue quite got in behind red. So she's having a shot. She's still lining up now, she's had a shot, and she's uh, missed through to the right, so... See Drew just uh, warming up there on the sideline. He's he wants this he wants this over on this hoop. He wants to. And so this for Sonia for the Test match series. And she's bounced out of that. Okay, so you can see George's uh, <laughs> reaction there in the background. <laughs> Probably doesn't think realizes on camera. Phil Drew's a bit the same. Here comes Felix. The Kiwis are all... Can't believe this game's still in play. So Judy now... With a chance to steal this hoop. And steal the game back. So it all really hinges on whether Blue's actually a runner there. I mean, Black probably now, being in such a bad position earlier, is probably in a great position as an in-off ball. Um, so if Judy's thinking black's in and off, she's got to probably do something with black. If blue's a runner, she's probably got to do something with blue. Um, it's too far for a jump shot for her from there. So it looks like she's lining up on blue. She's assessed that as the more dangerous ball here. And um, so she's trying to get this to rattle away. And from her reaction, you can see she's missed the miss the works. So Sonia doesn't need to do anything too tricky. She doesn't have to try the in-off. She can just paddle back in front, perfect position, and uh, force Judy with a couple of long, long roque shots through. And that's what she does. She's not not going to give up. It's a great opportunity to seal a win for New Zealand. And yeah, Judy can see what's in front of her. She's right down in corner one. So, longer shot of the game. The black is very close to being wide from her. You can see from her setup, she hasn't taken a very long stalk there. She can see that it's pretty much an impossible shot. So, she might have something with the red. So, this could just be a ball getting close. And from the pace and the angle, oof, I've got a feeling she might have actually been trying to push red up closer. Um, no, blue was a great shot so that's it for New Zealand game set match, test match the works um, alright well I'm going to go join my team I hope you enjoyed the all the, all the live streaming <laughs> and uh, oh, there will be uh, live streaming presentations uh, later um, so yeah 
Stay tuned. Get over Anderson. 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 Get over